song together.
But I thank you for the hills. Y'all want to praise God over the mountains he can move. But what about the hills that you didn't step over? I'm grateful for the simple things I've had.
say Jesus. Hallelujah. There's been a paradigm shift. There's been a shift in the atmosphere. There's been a shift. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In case I didn't say it for the remainder of this month, we'll be talking about warfare. Amen. Amen. That's that's a grown-up message. But I feel that you're mature enough to handle it. Amen. Amen. There's a maturity that has taken place. Amen. It's not in the flesh, but it's in the spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He's about to give us a, a, an adult-sized responsibility. And we can't fumble it. Amen. We can't mess it up. Amen. But God is preparing us, church, for something great. He's, you better mark my words. He's preparing us for something great. Something beyond what we can even ask, imagine, or think. Hallelujah. We're not going to fail him. Amen? Amen. 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 Ephesians 6, 10 to 13. And then I want you to get Romans. Amen. Chapter 7, verse 18 to 24. Amen. And I just want you to just listen to what God is saying. If it's not you, amen. Amen. Then just their words of wisdom. Amen. Amen. God always prepares us. Amen. He always prepares. And if it is you, just say, God, thank you. You love me enough to show me what to do. Amen. 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 Ephesians 6, 10 to 13, when you have it, say amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's stand for the reading of the word. Amen. Let's all stand and reverence the reading of God's word. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because it's just that powerful. It's just that powerful. Ephesians 6, 10 to 13 from the New King James Version reads, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you might be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all, stand. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to go to Galatians 7 to 8, where I'm going to God to dwell in today. And it reads, and I know that nothing good lives in me. That is my sinful nature. I want to do what is right, but I can't. I want to do what is good, but I don't. I don't want to do what is wrong, but I do it anyway. This is Paul talking to the Roman church. But if I do what I don't want to do, I am not really the one doing wrong. It is sin living in me that does it. I have discovered that this principle of life, that when I want to do what is right, I inevitably do what is wrong. I love God's law with all my heart, but there is another power. Somebody say, another power within me that is at war with my mind. This power makes me a slave to sin that is still within me. Oh, what a miserable person I am. Who will free me from this life that is dominated by sin and death? God's word is already blessed. Turn to your neighbor and say, I'm about to win the battle for me. I'm about to win the battle for me. You're about to win the battle for you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to just, you can be seated. I want to put this disclaimer out here. I want to make this disclaimer. There is no use of pointing and painting a picture of a large and active spiritual war when you have to first conquer your own personal and private battles. It's time for the struggling you and the stable you to come together. Let me say that again. Hallelujah. I'm putting out this day where we're going to talk about spiritual warfare, but we got to win the battle against us. Hallelujah. There is no use of painting a picture of a large and active spiritual war when you have to first conquer your own personal and private battles. It's time for the struggling you and the stable you to come together. Hallelujah. We are in spiritual schizophrenia. We are spiritual schizophrenics. One minute we are winning the battle with us. One minute we're doing good. 
and who we pretend to be. We also wrestle with the future us. There's three dimensions we wrestle in. We wrestle with who we are currently. Then we wrestle with who we pretend to be. And then we wrestle with the future us. That's how God sees us. Sometimes God's dreams for us are bigger than our own dreams. We can't see ourselves in the light of God because we can never see ourselves being what he has called and anointed us to be. He's not asking for you to look at the weak you. Stop looking at the failed you, but begin to elevate and see yourself from God's perspective. See yourself from God's perception. And see that you're bigger than this. Tell somebody, I don't know what you're looking at, but just be aware Past summer, the Lord as clear as day 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's time to break up with the suspect you. <laughs> My God. The you that is questionable. The you that's sneaky. The you that's conniving. So easy to give in to what is wrong. Oh, that's all of us. That's every last one of us. From me to you. Oh, I gotta daily keep this flesh dead. Not under subjection. We gotta keep it dead. Hallelujah. He told us to bury our flesh. We are to be dead to sin. Not cover it up. Not mourn over it. Not prepare it for a life celebration like we do with people that die in the end. You don't put it in a coffin. Bury sin just like it is raw and real. Bury it. Hallelujah. So we won't break up with the suspect us. Hallelujah. The us that like to say little smart things. Hallelujah. The us that roll our eyes. That cut our eyes at people that did nothing to us. Hallelujah. Those little things. Hallelujah. That's little thing. The Bible says that little foxes spoil the vine. It ain't the big things. We always look for the big stuff. But it's the little stuff that leads to death and destruction. A little sin here. A little sin there. A little lying here. A little Just be available. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. These two ways of life are, are antithetical so that you cannot live at times one way and at times another way according to how you feel on any given day. So you can't decide, well, I'm going to live in the flesh today and then I'm going to live in the spirit. Let me tell you something. God, 99 and a half will do. Help me, Jesus, to make a hundred. So if I win, I win.
people that have done things to us. Some have been molested. Others have been raped. Others are fathers with nowhere in their life. That's right. And a whole lot of other stuff. The mother wasn't the mother that they imagined. People have done to live long enough. Somebody gonna do something to you. But forgive. And if you're gonna hate anything, hate the things that God hates. Love the things that God loves. Hallelujah. Contentions. People always argumentative, always bringing confusion and strife. Hallelujah. God doesn't like it. Jealousies. Hallelujah. God said, I'm a jealous God. Be jealous for God like he's jealous for you. Don't be jealous of other people. You don't know what it took for them to get where they are. It may look glamorous to stand behind a podium, but until you stay up at night and walk the floor, until you cry out, until you house your heart, because everybody talks about church hurt, but I as a pastor,
your spirit. This has been telling us for years, protect your spirit. Hallelujah. I told you, I can't watch everything on social media. I can't sit for hours. I can't even sit for five minutes to watch somebody uh, uh, shout in the presence of the Lord. I guess. I guess. I guess. I can't do it. I'm going to tell you how the Lord deals with me. He makes me sick to my stomach. And perhaps that's how God feels. We have exposed his church, but not in the right way. Not in the right way. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But one thing about the Holy Ghost, he does damage control. The Holy Ghost does damage control. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God, you are worthy of our praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so trinkets of God, magic show religion, and we are living in a day where it's magic show religion. I'm here to tell you, you better know God. You better know yourself. You better know your opponent, which is the enemy. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you that there's false prophets that have risen up, that can do healings, that can do deliverances like everybody else. Hallelujah. But the difference is, is it's the truth of God within that person. It's the spirit of God within that person. See, the enemy has ability and powers. Amen. He challenged Moses. When the Lord told him, throw down your rod. Uh, and it turned into a snake, then he picked it back up. They did their little tricks and, and things, amen, their little magic, amen? Amen, that's right, until. But we know God has the last say. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Your magic show religion. Listen, paranoid loneliness. I never heard somebody talk about lonely. Find something to do. I'm great to uh, take applications for the house of God. How about that? Amen. Find something to do that's meaningful and fulfilling. You won't be lonely. I'm not here to tell you just because you don't have a man doesn't mean that you are incomplete and unfulfilled. Because that does not complete you. Been married, been there, done that, going on 37 years. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. I could be just as Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
for Jesus. An impotence to love and be loved. That we there is just such a void in our life that we are so desperate to love and be loved. Let me tell you something. There is a love that surpasses any human love. Learn to love God with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your might. Love Him. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. I know what it is. I know when I didn't have a father in my life, and y'all heard this story, amen? But every girl wants a relationship with their father. And there's a void, there was a void and a longing, especially as a young girl, seeing your other siblings go with their father. That was hard. Hallelujah. But one day I said, you know what? I'm going to love God with everything that's in me. He said that he would be my father. He said I could call him Abba, Father. So when I fell in love with God, and when he filled that void, I don't even miss the man. I don't miss him. How did he go on anyway? So you know what I say to that? You missed out on having a great daughter. I didn't miss out on having a wild father. But you missed out on me. I'm the gift that was to your life. You missed that. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So we got to make sure that we know what the real definition of love is. Amen. Hallelujah. God said, I'm love. We love because he first loved us. That's what the Bible says. He first loved us. We know only how to define love through him. him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Divided homes, divided lives. This is what the enemy does. Small-minded and lopsided pursuits. The vicious habit of depersonalizing everyone into a rival. That's what the enemy wants us to do, constantly be in each other. To have that crab mentality, pulling each other down. No, I'm woman enough to celebrate you and your victories. I am woman enough to celebrate you. If God blesses you, I'm big enough to celebrate you. And don't have to feel a thing of jealousy. Because what God has for you is for you. And guess what? What God has for me is for me. Thank you, Jesus. Uncontrolled and uncontrollable addictions. Hallelujah. We don't think that having a cell phone in our hand 24 hours a day is an addiction. But it is. Do you know that there are uh, camps that um, try to, almost like AA and um, Alcoholics Anonymous and Drugs Anonymous, there are camps for um, social, uh, social media anonymous and, and to, for them to disconnect because you people live their lives worrying about what other people, one, are doing and then what they're thinking. If they got a little bit of a fan base, they become obsessed. I'm here to tell you that 90% of that stuff is fake. There are bots that you can purchase and buy from foreign countries to boost up your numbers, to make you feel like you're somebody. You don't, they're not your best friend because they follow you. They just don't have nothing else to do. Go get a life. Tell somebody, go get your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ugly parodies of community. I could go on, Paul said. Thank you, Jesus. There, this isn't the first time I have warned you. Listen, you know, if you use your freedom this way, you will not inherit God's kingdom. In God and in his presence, we have liberty. Yes. We have freedom. Yes. But let's not take advantage of that. Right. I'm not free to keep sinning. Right. But I'm free to live saved to its fullness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together and bless God. Your battle with your flesh will be a lifelong thing. Let me hear you tell you that you won't be fighting you for the rest of your life. But at some point, it's your enemy or your flesh is going to wave the white flag. Your spirit man is saying, don't be victorious. I have the victory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But let the battle be occasional and 
not constant. That's good. That's good. Let the battle with your flesh be occasional, but not constant. That's good. Hallelujah. The sin factor is always present. So the potential to mess up is always a possibility. But tell somebody, it's time for me to master me. 